After weeks of experimenting, I can confirm that HoneyWen is the best open source video model available for free today. It's really good at generating natural looking subjects and motion in a photorealistic style. In this video, I will show you how to get HoneyWen up and running on your computer using ConfiUI. To get started, you first need to install ConfiUI. I've made a dedicated video guide for this, so if this is your first time using it, watch that video first. Once you've completed the installation, launch ConfiUI. If you've had it installed for a while, make sure you have the latest version. To update, go to Manager and click Update All. Once finished, restart ConfiUI. And before you can use HoneyUN, you will need to download some models from this page, which I will link in the description box. There are three main HoneyUN video models. They come in different sizes and your choice will depend on your system specifications. If you have a GPU with more than 12 gigabytes of VRAM and enough storage, you can download the BF16 version. If you have less VRAM, I recommend you download the FP8 and fast video versions as well. To get the model, right click on the download icon Icon, choose save link as and save the model under ConfiUI, models, diffusion models. I've downloaded all three models because I plan to experiment with them. Next, download both VAE models and save them under models, VAE. While I've downloaded both, you'll be fine using just the BF16 version. It uses less VRAM and the difference in output quality is barely noticeable. The last file to download from this page is the fast video LoRa. Save this one under models, LoRa's and I will explain what we need this file for later in the video. You will also need to download text encoders. I will link this page in the description box. Make sure you download at least the clip model and the FP8 version and place them under models, text encoders. Now that you have all the files in your ConfiUI folder, head over to the HoneyUN video page, which I will link in the description box. Right below the video sample, you will find the basic workflow. Right click on it, choose save link as, and save this workflow file anywhere on your computer. Next, simply drag and drop the workflow file onto your ConfiUI interface, which will instantly load the basic workflow for HoneyUN video. Before moving on, go to edit, and click on refresh node definition to ensure ConfiUI detects all the models that you just downloaded. Now let's go through the key settings. In the load diffusion model, I'm using the BF16 version, which generates better videos but requires more VRAM. For the dual clip loader, choose the FP8 text encoder and in the VAE loader, select the BF16 version. Flux guidance controls how closely the AI follows your prompt. I keep it at 6 to leave room for some creativity. In some cases, I got better results when increasing this to 10, so I suggest you experiment within that range. The prompt box is where you can describe your video. This workflow generates videos from text prompts. While there are other ways to animate images or transform videos with HoneyUN, which I'm still testing and will cover in future videos, we're focusing on text to video today. If you're interested in learning more, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more Comfy UI tutorials. When writing prompts, I recommend you use natural language and be descriptive about your desired visuals. While some say you need extremely detailed prompts for HoneyUN, I've gotten great results with simpler prompts too. And I will share a list of effective prompts in the description below as reference. For this example, I'm using a simple prompt to generate a scene of a young woman walking down a busy Tokyo street. The video resolution significantly affects speed quality and resource usage. The default setting is set to 848 by 480, which is a good starting point if you have 16 gigabytes or more of VRAM. My GPU has 24 gigabytes of VRAM, so I can generate higher resolution videos but they will take more time to process. The most common approach is to generate videos in medium resolution and then use an upscaling workflow to make it higher. I've tested many upscaling workflows in ConfiUI, but most are either slow or produce average results. I will continue experimenting with that, but for now, my preferred tool for upscaling is Topaz Video AI. I highly recommend trying it for upscaling your videos if you want to prioritize speed. The length setting controls the number of frames to generate 
generate more frames mean longer generation time while too few frames can compromise output quality the default of 73 frames works very well for starters you'll get about three seconds of video and i suggest testing honeywen with this frame count before going any higher i'll keep the seed set to randomize which ensures unique generations even when using identical settings regarding the sampler and scheduler while i haven't fully tested which combinations work best with honeywen my experience with other models shows that they do impact the output i'll continue testing them and to stay updated on these findings i invite you to join our discord server the steps value determines output quality higher values produce better results but increase generation time and vram usage for this resolution i typically use between 20 and 30 steps for the VAE decode node, you can adjust the tile size to optimize performance. Larger tiles speed up processing but require more memory. The tile size does not significantly affect output quality, so feel free to experiment. Last but not least, the save animated WebP node combines all image frames into a video output. By default, the frame rate is set to 24, which with your generated frames will create about 3 seconds of video. Now this node only saves in WebP format, Personally, I prefer to save my videos in MP4. To do that, we're going to need another node that doesn't come included in ComfyUI. Go to Manager, click on Custom Nodes Manager, and search for Video Helper. Install the ComfyUI Video Helper Suite node, then click Restart to apply the changes. Now return to ComfyUI, right-click anywhere on the interface, navigate to Add Node, Video Helper Suite, and select video combine set the frame rate to 24 for the file name prefix i'll go with hanyuan you can select your video format here the crf setting controls your video quality lower value produces higher quality videos in larger size so keep that in mind finally connect the vae decode tile to the video combine node and you can remove the webp node by right clicking it and selecting remove here is a tip if your workflow gets messy with lots of nodes, go to settings, light graph, and change the link render mode to straight. This will make all the connections between nodes appear as straight lines, creating a cleaner look. Now that we have all the settings properly adjusted, click the Q prompt button and wait for it to process. The generation will take a few minutes, depending on your hardware and settings. The sampler custom advanced node handles most of the processing and once complete, you will see a preview under the video combined node. And there you have it, your first Honeywell generated video. And while this open open source model has its limitations and may not match paid options like Luma, Runway ML or Kling AI, which I compared in another video, you can achieve impressive results once you master the settings. To access your generated video, go to ComfyUI, Output, where you will find both the video file and a single PNG frame. The PNG frame serves as a workflow. You can drag and drop it into your ComfyUI interface to load the same video settings. The video took about 8 minutes to generate on the first run. The second attempt took only 6 minutes, which is quite reasonable considering paid models currently take around 5 minutes. If you've tried this and encountered out of memory errors, or if you simply want to speed up generation times, consider using cloud-based solutions. These services let you run entire ConfUI workflows on high-end cloud GPUs. I personally use ThinkDiffusion. They offer access to different VRAM tiers up to 48 gigabytes. They've also added support for the Honeywen video model, and I will include the link to ThinkDiffusion in the description box. Now, I've also tested these exact settings on my Aorus laptop, which has 16 gigabytes of VRAM, and I can confirm that it runs perfectly fine, but obviously the generation takes a bit longer. Now, if you have less than 16 gigabytes of VRAM, there there are several adjustments you can make to be able to run Honeywen. First, right click anywhere on the workflow, choose add node, go to loaders 
and add a LoRa loader. Select the fast video LoRa that you downloaded earlier. Next, to connect this to your workflow, link the model output from the sampling node to the input of the LoRa node. Then connect the LoRa node's output to the basic guider's model input. With the LoRa added, you can now reduce the steps value, which as I mentioned earlier, will decrease both generation time and video memory usage. I'll set it to six, Keep all other settings the same and click Q prompt to test it. While the quality isn't quite as good as before, at least it works and it definitely takes less time to generate. Another option is switching to the fast video model for even quicker generation, though in my experience the results haven't been good at all. Still, I've seen others get good videos with it, so it's worth trying. The FP8 version is another alternative worth exploring. In my testing, it's been hit or miss compared to the BF16 version. Ultimately, your best approach depends on your hardware. Start with these options, then experiment with settings like steps, resolution, and video length to find what works best on your system.